Hey, everything beast there going home on a daily commute. Got a dozen price matter when we're talking chatter baits. Man, I've ran the whole gauntlet on the chatter baits. I went from the original Z Man to the Elite to the Project Z to the Jackhammer. I've used the Thunder Cricket. I've used the Booyah uh, Chaos, I think it's what it's called. Man, I've run through all of them. And does price matter? I wouldn't say price matters as much as maybe brand. Um, looking through, I mean, going through them, the best two that I've found is going to be the Thunder Cricket or, and I know there's a lot, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of custom ones out there that I probably haven't tried, That, but from the major brands that are out there, uh, the Guggen, Clickbait, and all those, and those in the Booyah are about the same. I really didn't care for them. They didn't really seem like they... They perform real well. They're about that eight, nine dollar range, which is the same range that you can get the Project ZZ Man. Uh, I think when it go, comes to it's not really as much a price as it is brand. So really, the Z Man across the board, starting from the original to the Elite to the Project Z up to the Jackhammer, I think that you can't really miss. I've used and I've tested a lot between the. Uh, original the project z and the jackhammer and i've got friends that say oh they they keep thumping better uh, they don't stop thumping uh i don't really think that's the case it seems like i've had the same performance i've actually caught more fish on the original and the project z than i have the jackhammer uh you seem like you with the jackhammer you get a better skirt you get a better paint job uh, the Project Z is pretty good. I think the Project Z is probably the best as far as your your for the money. You you get a better paint job. You get eyes on the on the jig, the skirts right there. Uh, I'm kind of a lot on Project Z. So, but if we're going this price matter, I would say no. Because I think you're probably your best bang for the buck is either going to be that original Z-Man or the uh, the Project Z. The Jackhammer is good. I just, you know, it's $16. I haven't really seen it really outperform the Project Z. Now, the Jack, you can get the Thunder Cricket, which is about $13. I think it performs just as good as the Jackhammer. Uh, you got a little bit different color combinations as far as the blade on it, uh, but yeah, it's when it comes for the money. I guess I mean, it's kind of hard. Like I said, I think if you stay with the Strike King Thunder Cricket or the uh, Z-Man, the entire line, you're good to go. But it's, again, so it's on this one when it comes to chatter baits, I don't really think it's much about price as it is your brand, and you're down to your Z-Man. You go from a $5 Z-Man original to a $9 Z-Man Project Z or $16 uh, Jackhammer. And I think you're going to get about the same performance. You just get a little bit better cosmetics and a little bit better color selection And when you, you go up the line. Uh, I hope that helps. I hope that didn't confuse anybody. But if you're trying to go out there and say, oh, I'm spending all my money on the $16 Jackhammer, $13 uh, Thunder Cricket, I think you probably could save a couple bucks and go down to the Project Z and get your good performance. And again, if you're just getting started, that original Z-Man, I've seen comparison after comparison on them, and a lot of times you're catching the same amount of fish. I hope they get you what you need, and I hope they don't piss a lot of guys off out there that are, you know, diehard Jackhammer friends or Jackhammer fans like a couple friends of mine. They won't even touch the originals because it's either jackhammer or nothing. But I, I think the Thunder Cricket and the Project Z are right there, and they save you a couple bucks. Hope that helps get you what you need. Until next time.